Hi guys, I'm White Up Gamer. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Where we're going to do a slightly not accurate rebuild of Jurassic Park. And today I'm going to add in the uh, Dilophosaurus businesses into uh, the park. Now this is just going to be a uh, a quick so I can just connect it up and get an idea of where I'm actually going to be building the Dilophosaurus. I think it's going to be on this side here. Um, so they do, they will have plenty of space. They've got all the space here. So I'll add this section as a, uh, an enclosure and then go from there. Over they got them. Oh, it's not saved. <laughs> I did all this before and it kind of crashed. Uh, when I started actually doing the actual recording bit. So I'll have to add in the hatchery again. And get that all connected up. Like that. That's not connected up. Now it is. Sort that out in a bit. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're going to add in the dial of a source today. And continue this little interesting build, hopefully. Let's connect that up there. It doesn't have to be that big. It's just going to be like a storage for the dinosaurs when they come out. Um, also, I didn't think launching a load of uh, predators into the herbivore enclosure was probably not a good idea. Um, but I'm relatively happy with the way it's going. So let's get these dilos on the go. We need to upgrade this. So we'll do two speeds and one capacity. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I know it's been a little while since the last episode of this. Um, if you've watched my previous video, you'll understand why. And hopefully we're going to continue to enjoy this. I've got to do a little experiment going on at the moment as well with my recording software um, in terms of the um, audio. So hopefully it'll, at least my voice will sound a little bit better and a bit more clear. Right, so they're cooking an oven. Let's fly over here to where the entrance is. Now I'll get this cleared up. Just until we put a few more. Um, actually, which should be don't don't need the, that one, do we? So we'll do the electric one. Try and stay relatively similar distance away. From the tracks because I want to put some light sources in as as well that a, goes a little bit too far I think okay for that around so I think that should be, that's plenty of space isn't there for the dialos. And then if we dust that straight obstructed by what? Right, is that connected? Yes it is. So then they've got all this kind of area here to play with. Um, I'm not entirely sure do we need to drop this down a little bit? We'll give it a try. Uh, do that. I don't want to flatten it, I just want to smooth it out a little bit. At the same time, I don't want it to be like ridiculous like it's a roller coaster, but I also don't want it to be, um, you know, f just absolutely completely flat because it just, it's supposed to be like a natural environment. I'll drop it down a little bit. I'll we'll keep it quite heavily forested as well. For raise. Raise that up. And then if I flatten it, there we go, that raises that section. 
sort of like that because it keeps it balanced I think <laughs> just kind of making this up as I go along is that like a ridiculous hill it kind of is need to sort that out don't we um, at least we can do is probably just smooth it out a little bit Smooth. Smoothly does it. How's that now? So you go. Can't get low enough. So we go through and. Where's capture mode? I can go with capture mode. How is it? Go through. Not quite as low as that. So about to say that there, going over, crest, and then yeah, that's all right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Now what we do need is I want to put these down all the way, so it's are oh, you blocked by? It. So it's nicely. Are you obstructed by? It can't be obstructed. All the way around. So it's nicely lit. Unless you've got the, uh, you can kind of measure how far away you need just by the, uh, where the the, uh, the dirt starts on the track, which is cool. Put that there, and then we need the sign, dial off a sort of sign marker. That's well sunk into the floor, but on there. Why did you take it away from me? I want to put another one in. One on this side as well. If I can't, I've seen it. There. God, that's very, very finicky. Can I, I need to get down lower. Like that. There we go. Right, so that is... No, that looks quite nice, that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I need to make this a bit more... Excuse me. Uh, foresty, so I'd... Thicken up trees around the back. Hide this... Bit of... That there. Because the enclosure itself in the in the film is quite like a dense forest. So I want to um show that as well. I still haven't got any I still no Oh they are coming round. to get the money's worth out. Um, and you do... I've got some... Is that water down there? Right, okay. So the water stops in this corner. After that, some water. What I might do is take that down like that. Make a river flow all the way around. Something like that. This is this is gonna change. This isn't kind of like gonna stay. I'm just trying to figure something out because I wouldn't mind like a a river. Um, I I think I need. It's a little bit too wide. Is it? The way it drops down there, and now I need to uh, fix that. 
fix that because now it's drooping too much. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I'll tell you what, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You can't see an awful lot, but I'll put the feeders near the front of the enclosure. And that way there's a a chance that they'll be able to to see some of the animals. One there and one there. Just need to add some rocks now. Maybe some proper trees. And the only thing is, I wish. Uh, that's when you're putting stuff in the enclosures that I didn't take it literally back to like the main menu, you bet. Like this part, if you press back, it should just take you back to this section. That's my kind of belief. I've got some rocks and now I think... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Throw no, it in. Night vision goggles are available in the glove compartment. It's not bad at all. Still dips down a little bit. Like it dips down. It dips down a lot, to be finished. It does dip down a lot. Let's see if I. Let's raise this up a bit. See, now it just looks fucking weird. I'll have to smooth that out a little bit. I'll scoot back up. Now, there is, there is water about. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. So, that shouldn't be an issue. See, that's a bit better now. How's that look? Yeah, I can actually see grass on the other side of the fence now. So that's not bad at all. Relatively happy. So far. Um, let's add some paint into... I like it that it's kind of like a little bit swampy. Not too bad. Uh, make this one small. A rock around there, and a rock around there. Be rock. You can be the rock. So when it says that kind of forested, you can't really see anyway. Some of these plants down. Grassland. Oh, that's that. Yeah, looks alright. Looks alright. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's okay. There's more coming through now. Looks cool. Right, scoop back over and we'll start releasing them. So I've got three at the moment. I don't know whether to do a fourth one or not. But I think I'll just leave it as free for now. Yay! So goddamn beautiful! And release you. Oh, this is the vivid one, I believe. Vivid or rainforest, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a vivid one. 
Look how pretty she is. And release the third one. Right, I do need, because I haven't got. In fact, is. Can I? I need to dart them, don't I? So I do need. So I've got that, I've got that. Guests, hotel. So I do need to. Have I got a, I've got a ranger station, have I? I have. So. You just knock these three out. I need to build. Yeah, I know. I was about to say, I need to build a fence, like a gate in. There we go. Oh, one there, one there. So they've got, they can choose either side they want to go. And we'll get them knocked out and then moved over. Pretty though. I really do hope, I really do hope that they put it in the new film. Dominion. And obviously the whole film process has been suspended because of the uh, terrible stuff that's going on in the world at the moment. And I hope everybody is safe and abiding to the stay at home. So far I know it's hard, I know people are going to lose out on money and etc etc but it's really really important that you do a bad to them because you could be saving somebody's life even someone like your grandparents or somebody else's grandparents because it may not be you that's most at risk it could be somebody else so just just be safe guys and, and abide to whatever's going on because it is a little bit it is a little bit scary and everything's a little bit uncertain at the moment but as a race and as a society we can we can get through this i believe we can that's enough preaching for one video. <laughs> I've just unlocked something. Yay! Right, if I press T, I can... That's not... It's okay, so let's move you over. Start of our carnivore area. Alright, there's one down. Right, two down. And uh, there's the third one. Collecting asset. Right, so we're nearly done now, guys. A little, a little bit longer left in the video, and I'll come back and we can see how come video in the new environment. Once we're all over there, so I'll bring you back in a minute. And we're back, and they are back in their homes and having a good bit of uh, food right now. Well the first one is, I don't know where the others are at the moment. They'll be floating around somewhere. Having some water. And this one's eating from the other one. So they're all happy. I think. You can see it in their eyes I believe, not whether they're happy or not, but hopefully they are. Going to a nice bit of space here. Might have one or two more in here. Um, just to spread it out a little bit. But yeah, that's the end of today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Leave some comments. And of course, if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!